Sanchez, I don't agree though. I'm literally in the middle of it. It is actually spreading everywhere. Like every time they kill another protester, a whole city goes to a new level of violence and hate for the regime. I may agree that for a short term it will go it will go settle down, but probably it would come back stronger in less than a few months. We'll see if it happens in less than a few months. Right now, I think what's happening is that area is going to I think war is breaking out Sanchez right so be careful be careful so I think once war breaks out there and that's one of the reasons Iran started bombing the Iraqi regions of the Kurdistan and stuff like this um, I don't think people are, are gonna get behind any type of upheaval inside the country I, I don't think it's gonna happen Sanchez like almost every week we are having protests in our uni and despite a lot of students being captured we are still not calming down any any soon okay let's see how where it goes Sanchez I wish you the best seriously brother I wish you the best I hope it's peaceful and I hope um, if anything does come of this I hope no one allows Western influence to uh, take over iran or influence iran in any way shape or form we've already gone through that multiple times and that only leads to misery down the road right it has to be from the people it cannot be any external forces it cannot be any external forces anyone getting any money from any external forces okay they should not be part of anything okay they, they should be shot it needs to be ground up because that is poison that is the cancer that will destroy everything okay iran has been through enough of that shit and i still personally don't think it's going to lead anywhere i really don't okay what's happening right now is less um, grand than what was happening in uh, the mid 2000s late 2000s there was huge uprisings then as well and the resonance of that was more powerful than what it is right now and that led nowhere it didn't go anywhere it gave the regime more power unfortunately elder god democracy is dead in america but dementia is alive and well in the white house <laughs> hilarious hilarious avocado game i'm gonna pop an avocado i hope you have good snacks I hope you have good snacks. Eat healthy, gang. I'm gonna close this guy. Eat. Oh, where's my chat go? Don't, there it is. <laughs> the social bit will alive at least. Iran is the cradle of civilization. It will survive the coming storm. 100%. Look, no matter how you think about this, okay, one. Just a conversation me and Sanchez have been having, right? I'm in the West, Sanchez is, is in Iran, right? We see eye to eye, but there's we see different paths to where it's going, right? But no matter how you look at it right now, Iran is a lot more powerful now than it was five years ago, than it was 10 years ago, than it was 15 years ago, than it was 20 years ago, than it was pre um post-revolution iran is more powerful now than it has been for the last four decades okay and a lot of people i believe see that and they will not uh they will not work with any institution that is trying to set it back or any peoples i don't think it's going to get a foothold in iran sanchez can you explain more who will be the participants of this war you are talking about because in case of Iran it's just isolated more than ever in history I don't see how Iran can handle even a single attack like yet uh, like have you seen the Air Force level no it's not Air Force doesn't matter right now it's literally the same as Shaw left 44 years ago they're still using the old f-14s fixed with black market parts but still I hope uh, a region stays peaceful so we can focus on the regime becoming less popular yeah, Sanchez check this out 
Iran doesn't have to have a huge military right now. Uh, not not military, uh, air force right now, because it's got drones, it's got missiles, it's got the backing of Russia and China. He huge, he huge. Those two are the bone breakers of any opposing uh, external force. Okay, let's say. Okay, Iran has the full backing of China and Russia. That's all Iran needs. Aside from that, Iran's got the drones. Is Iran's got the people? Iran's got the one thing Iran has is is the people power. Okay, if Iran is threatened, the people will come calling. They proved that during the Iraq War. Okay, really. Uh, if Iran is ever attacked, it will unite as one and it will repel any attacking force. Okay. Aside from that, and that will crush any changes, revolution, or anything like this going on, right? Like literally, it's gone, right? Um, aside from that, right now, Iraq, Syria, Turkey, and Iran are all four, and they always have been, but right now, more than ever, they all they are all under the same mindset that the Kurds in the region are backed by Israel and the United States, and they are there to destabilize all four nations. So right now, Iran is considering these uh, protests and this instability rolling in Iran. Okay, I, I understand that you're saying it's not just from the from the west, from the Kurdish regions, or the north, from the Kurdish regions, right? I realize that you're saying it's everywhere, but it's being funneled, funded through that region, through the Kurdish uh, center of power, right? And Iran right now is involved in operations in Iraq, right? Turkey is involved in operations in Iraq. Syria has told the Kurds, you guys had your, you had your opportunity, you didn't make a deal you have chosen sides right as well in azerbaijan and armenia war iran and armenia are allies and i believe they will be allies for a long time to come one of the reasons is because northern iran is uh, a lot of native azerbaijani um, speaking right and descendants and azerbaijan thinks that that region sort of should belong to Azerbaijan as, as well as Turkey, right? So there's a sort of a play happening there. If the situation in Armenia with Armenia and Azerbaijan flares up again, and it will, okay, that's not done yet, and it will, Iran has already stated that they are siding with Armenia. If the Ar integrity of Armenia is any way compromised, Iran has already stated that they will defend Armenia, okay? Azerbaijan is in cahoots or is getting a lot of funding from Israel, right? Weapons, training. There's Israeli operatives in Azerbaijan. So Israel is using Azerbaijan as a proxy to destabilize Iran a little bit and destabilize that alliance that Armenia and Iran have, right? So that is a huge, huge flare up zone and it will flare up, okay? So once start, once the dominoes start falling we really don't know where everything's gonna what's gonna go first right but that is like i don't know what the death con levels are that is very dangerous right now very dangerous right now young kf say having the backing of both china and russia is a game changer is a game changer is a game uh, iran doesn't need an air force Okay, it doesn't need an air force. Anti-socialist behavior. China is the true power backing Iran. Russia can't afford to honor its commitments right now. Russia can honor its uh, S-300s, 400s, 500s, 6 they, they will give Iran whatever they need to repel anything. That's my take. Okay.